Yes! For this standby, we're going to look at the physics of some of these simple toys. Wind-up toys provide a beautiful illustration of the notion of energy transfer. I mean, think about what happens. I turn this crank, and inside here, it's hard to see, but there's a spring that gets wound up really tight. So it started as kinetic energy, my fingers twisting, turns into potential energy inside the spring. Once I let it go, the spring starts to unwind, and that potential energy turns back into kinetic energy. Look at his little head going back and forth. We see that same kind of energy transfer in other types of toys, like these little poppers. Oh, bending this popper inside out, I'm giving it some elastic potential energy. On a moment's notice, it'll suddenly release. <laughs> and when it releases, all that potential energy turns almost immediately into kinetic energy. The kinetic energy makes it go up into the air, and that kinetic energy then turns into gravitational potential energy. Until this thing can't go anymore, it slows down and stops, turns around, comes back down. Now that gravitational potential energy is turning back into kinetic energy as it comes back down. So there's this whole chain of energy going from one form to another to another and back again. You may not think about it this way very often, but even balloons exhibit this kind of energy transfer. I've blown up this balloon, and right now it has elastic potential energy. The stretched rubber of the balloon wants to collapse back down and push all the air out. The question is, when I let go of this balloon, what does that elastic potential energy turn into? Take a look. Whoa! <laughs> In this case, the elastic potential energy turned into some kinetic energy, but also some sound energy. It's amazing how energy can transform into so many different forms. Stand by.